We're now going to create our first controller. This is going to be our home controller. And this is going to output two different things. Firstly, if we're not signed in, we're just going to output some default text, which is what we're going to be doing in this part. And then later on, when we are signed in, we can output our timeline. And as part of this video as well, we're actually going to be building up our template for our entire site. So we can just easily include uh, content within our template. And we're going to be setting up Bootstrap as well, and we're going to be creating a navigation at the top, which we can add to later and make more dynamic, whether the user signed in, etc. So let's start by creating our first controller. So if you head over to app, HTTP controllers, you'll want to create a new file in here. And this is going to be called home controller.php. So within here, we need to namespace this. We're namespacing everything, even controllers. So remember, this is namespaced under chatty as our top level. And then we have HTTP and controllers. We'll need to do this for every controller. But of course, if you can create any other controllers, we can just copy and paste this later. So the class is home controller. And this extends our base controller, which is just called controller. That's this file just here. So we need inside of here a method which is going to return our home view which we don't have at the moment, but we'll be creating that in a moment. And I'm just calling this function index or this method index. So we're going to return here view home. And then later on, we'll have some logic in here to return the timeline if the user is signed in. So you'll notice that this obviously doesn't change the fact that we see this view welcome not found. And that's because if we head over to our roots file, which is also under our app HTTP directory, you can see that all we're doing for our base route is when we hit our uh, home page, we're just returning a view in here within a closure. So we're going to get rid of this and we're going to use the controller for this route. So we're going to say root get forward slash. And in here this time, we're going to pass an array rather than that closure. So in here then, what we want to do is say uses. I'm going to specify the name of the controller, but we need to give the full namespace as well. So we're going to say chatty HTTP controllers home controller and our method name, which we put after this at is index. And we're also going to give this a name as well so we can reference it later when we want to build up links to it. So I'm just going to call that home. Of course, you can call it whatever you like. So now we're pointing our home page at this home controller and then we are running this method here or calling this method. Now you'll notice that we actually still get an error here. And the reason being is that we're not prefixing our full namespace for our controller with a forward slash. And that's just a namespace conflict. So we just do that and there we go. But we still don't have this home view found. So let's quickly create that. And then we'll move on to creating our base template. So under resources and views, you want to create a new file. And we're going to be using the blade templating engine. So I'm going to call this home.blade.php. So Laravel knows this is a blade view. And I'm just going to write home in here for now. And you'll see that now we get home. Perfect. So let's move on now to create our base template, which is really important. So we can just quickly build pages as we need to. So under views, I'm going to create a new folder called templates. And then inside of here, I'm going to create a template called default.blade.php and we can extend this for all of the pages that we need to build. So in here then we just need some basic document markup. Uh, you can go ahead and just copy this down now and for the title I'm going to write chatty. So what we need to do now is we need to yield content. But before I start any of this, I want to just pull in Bootstrap as a dependency because otherwise some of our markup that we're going to be writing isn't going to work. So if you head over to getbootstrap.com, hit the download button, rather than downloading these files or compiling them using SAS, what I'm actually going to do is just pull these in from Bootstrap's content delivery network. And this is uh, from MacCDN. So this is the latest compiled and minified CSS. We have an optional theme. And then we also have the JavaScript as well. We're not going to be using Bootstrap's JavaScript component. So we just need 
this latest compiled and minified CSS. So we can go and copy this and paste it in the head and then we are done to start writing markup. So I'm going to create a div with a class of container. And this is going to contain all of the content that we pass through from our child templates. If this doesn't make sense, it will do in a moment. So I'm just going to say yield content. And over on home.blade.php, I need to extend this default template. So to do that, all I need to do is say extends templates dot default down here I'm going to say section content and then I'm going to stop this and in here we're going to just write some content so we're going to say welcome to chatty best social network like ever so when we refresh here now you can see that we get that and you'll notice that this has been indented a little bit and that's because the container class is part of Bootstrap's framework. So this is why this looks nice. We've got a nice font here. We're nearly ready to go. The last step is going to be including the navigation at the top. So to create this, we go over to our default template and we want to include this somewhere within here. We want to keep this as a partial file. So what I'm actually going to do is inside of my templates directory here, I'm going to create a new folder called partials. That's going to store things like alerts that we're going to be bringing in later on. But for now, I'm going to create a new file in here and I'm going to call this navigation.blade.php. Just keeps everything nice and separate. Now, as part of the course downloads for this series, we have a navigation.html file. So if you download that, you'll find this raw navigation uh, markup and this is taken directly from bootstrap but it's modified for our needs and I'll take you over this just quickly so you understand what's going on here so we've got the main markup that we would normally use for a bootstrap menu that just floats at the top you can see we've got chatty as the brand up here you can obviously change that and these uh, these sort of HTML comments here are where we're eventually going to be implementing the ability to output things based on whether a user is signed in or not so you can leave these in here for now. Your navigation will look a bit messy, but we can change these up later. And you can see even here where we've got this name Dale, this is actually going to be the user's full name if they are signed in. So we have an if, an else, and an end if here. So what we're going to do now then is now that we've got this markup inserted, and you can modify this if you want, if you know Bootstrap, we're going to come over to our default container, and we are going to include this in. So just up here, before the container, we're going to say include, and we're going to include in templates.partials.navigation. So we can go and refresh here, and you can see at the top, we've got this bar up here. And if we go ahead and inspect this, you'll be able to see that we have our navbar right here. We've got all of our items just in here. And this is actually not displaying this content, uh, which is absolutely fine because we're going to be modifying this a little bit later. So don't worry too much about that. So we now have our navigation bar at the top created. We've got our base uh, container here, which is going to be where all of our content is going to sit eventually. And we've created our first controller that's handling all of this, as well as our templates.